Good day guys, Rolfus here bringing you some TABS action that stands for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, which it really isn't, it's just a very funny game, for like ragdoll physics and that sort of stuff. As you can see, I'm at level 9 already, I've just played some with Lily in our Christmas special, where Lily and I play some games. So I'm not going to start again, I'm going to start from that point because our, the first 8 levels are pretty easy. As you can see, you have two sides, the blue side, which is like the AI, you're trying to defeat that army. In the bottom middle there, you have your money. I've got 3,000, I suppose, gold to spend on anything I want from the top tabs here. I've got Vikings, Crusaders, Greek, Asian, Napoleonics, and Miscellaneous. So you've got different options in every little subcategory. So you've got headbutters. They're like Vikings with Viking horns. And they run along and just basically speed tackle anything in their, in their way. So we've got some pretty tricky troops here. have got cannons and musketeers. Very slow firing, but high damage, and a bit of splash area damage from the cannons too. So we're going to get miscellaneous, we're going to get some peasants. So basically I'm just going to put a bunch of peasants in the front. They cost only 10 gold, so you can put down heaps of those in the front. There you go, we've got 20 peasants in the front, only cost us 200 gold. Also I'm going to put a chicken man in the back. This guy poops out chickens. <laughs> He's absolutely classic. I can go the M16, I'm not too sure what that does. So there's different funny ones here. you got Hillary, who throws emails at enemy troops. you got Trump, who's got like a machine gun, and he throws up a wall to block enemy troops' movement. It's quite good, quite funny. I'll do that as well in a minute. So I've got the chicken man out. Farmer, just a slightly better peasant. So I might go some archers, I think, because archers are quite good. And because they're such a high fire rate versus the uh, musketeers, they're really good counter to them. Plus I'll spread them out a bit as well. So I've got plenty of um, gold to spend here at the moment. So I want some really fast troops to sort of go around the flanks as well. Taekwondo? How much are they? They only cost us 35, so I'll put a couple on the extreme flanks. They'll come around the sides and hopefully hit the um, musketeers and the cannons in their flank there. And we go to Huacha, which is like a massive crossbow that fires thousands of crossbows. Well, not thousands, but about, about 30 crossbows, of little bows, I think. So I'm pretty happy with that. We'll get some, um, we'll get some headbutters in there just for a bit of a laugh. There we go. Yeah, just press start, and away we go. Now you can fly around the map using the WASD keys. Right click to move your mouse around, your camera. And left click to slow it down. So as you can see, you've got the chicken man, he poos out the chickens. <laughs> it's uh, very wrong. There we go. He just pulls out chickens as he goes along. All right, so a wall of pets. There we go. Too easy. <laughs> I was too busy looking at the chicken man pulling out the chickens. So a wall of um, peasants managed to distract the musketeers while our troops flanked them and their archers whittled them down. Plus the chickens are pretty hard to actually kill. They don't do much damage, but you get so many of them, they're really hard to kill. Okay, so we're going to go miscellaneous. We'll go Hillary. Just go straight up here really against this battle. Just see how she goes. There she goes, throwing her little emails. We'll slow it down. Actually, we'll go in a bit further. And as she said, there are little, little envelopes being thrown at the enemy. She can take quite a few hits. She doesn't do that much damage, but she just throws so many. That's how she's sort of good against like light troops, but against these heavier troops with shields and stuff. She won't do a great deal. And they've actually got a chicken puller, so he's pulling out chickens as the shields men tank the damage from her emails. And the cross the catapult's doing huge deep amount of damage to it. Hillary herself. There she goes, she went down. And we'll get bring out um Trump as well. We'll put him back a tiny bit because he throws down the walls and that sort of stuff. Oh, we've got to clear Hillary away. Don't want Trump in here in the same battle. I've actually seen a four thousand uh, money battle before. To actually get them both in the same battle would be quite funny. There we go, he's got a couple of machine guns. He just fires wildly, doesn't even really aim properly. But being a machine gun, it takes down the um, shield bearers quite easily. I'm not too sure if he's going to throw his wall down or not. See so the chickens just coming in. Just so many of them doing massive amounts of DPS. 
They must be suicidal chickens because they die after they attack. A bit like a bee. Oh, he's actually, he might actually do this. He's got all the foot troops. He's got to get up and shoot the catapults. Oh. Probably it takes a while to actually lock on with his machine guns. Alright, so Trump didn't do any better. We'll go back in the... I think it's on the Greeks, yes, the chariot. So the chariot's actually going to be pretty cool. We'll, you can look at this chariot. It's actually Santa. Um, we'll go a few spear throwers because they're actually good at taking out shields. They get lodged into the shields and they eventually drop their shields. Who else have we got here? We've got some footmen. Um, probably won't go footmen yet. We'll go some archers. Put some archers on the extreme flank. That way they can sort of move in. Yeah, put some over here as well. And then we'll just go to the peasants in the front. Poor old peasants. They do cop a bit of a bit of a flogging. They don't really do much just sort of there to die. There we go. Let's click start. Here we go. See, so comes the chariot into the flank of the um, troops. Oh, he's doing some damage. Okay, I just want the archers to come in and kill the catapult. Oh, not going to happen. Oh, the chariot's down. Poor old Sanders down. Oh, we killed one of the catapults with our archers, though. That's what we wanted to do. Chicken man's at the back, pulling out a lot of chickens. But our archers on the flank are just outflanking his troops. Chicken man can take some hits, but he'll go down eventually. Oh, he's stuck on the, stuck on the rock. Come on, javelins. Okay, chicken man's down now. All we're going to do is just move the troops in and take out the catapult. Obviously, the catapult doesn't take many hits once you actually get a hit onto it. There we go. Oh, we're in a snow biome. I haven't actually seen this far in the game yet. So, we seem to have lots of um, Vikings. Wait, look, lots of flying Vikings. There we go. Okay, so I'm not too sure... What's going to happen here? If they're actually special Vikings because they're flying, or just normal Vikings? I don't think Vikings are very expensive. I don't seem to be that expensive. So go some headbutters. Go straight up headbutters versus these guys because headbutters are quite fun. There we go. Zoom out again. Here we go, as you can see, and we'll slide down. They spear tackle into the shields. Looks like one of them. If one hits the shield, the other one gets, sort of gets through to the actual Viking. And they'll just have a big big pile up in the middle, big stacks on. <laughs> so I'm not sure how we're going to go in this battle. It's also hard to tell if your um, headbutters are alive or not, because they're always on the ground, flopping around. <laughs> Looks like we've got the left-hand flank fine, or here on the right-hand flank. Oh no, he's actually taking them out. I don't think we'll be able to win this battle. No, I think we're, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead, that's alright. <laughs> you got to see the headbutters though, they're my favourite unit. Also my daughter's favourite unit. Um, so I reckon what we're going to do is... We'll put, some, put a couple of musketeers around the edge there. Now musketeers do a huge amount of DPS, but they're not very... Um, they don't go very ra fast rate of fire, very, fire very slowly. But we're going to put some peasants behind there. So I'm putting it at the back because I don't want them too far forward. We want to sort of have the peasants just in front of the um, musketeers as the Vikings hit. Beautiful. We hit start. And here we go. Alright, so the peasants are sort of well timed. There we go. So the first, first volley of muskets took down some Vikings. Alright. So what we've sort of done is just drawn the um, Vikings into the right-hand flank. So left-hand flank musketeers can just free the fire now. And we've got a swarm of peasants coming in. It's hard to tell what's going on. Actually, there might be a few musketeers still mixed in with those peasants. There we go. Wiped them out quite easily. All right, let's go into the last battle for the episode. It's a bit weird how you can't move the camera. Hang on, maybe you press F. Oh, there we go. So you press F, it brings in the free cam mode. All oh, these guys look pretty cool. Got huge axes with bear skins on. And looks all oh, headbutters. Ooh, go into the world. Woo! So how much money do we have in this battle? 2,500. That seems like a lot. Hmm. What haven't we used much? We'll go to Hawacha. That might be actually quite good against the headbutters. Actually, can we put that on the rock? I'm 
Maybe we can put that on the rock. Not too sure they'll be able to get up there or not. No, I won't put it on the rock. Maybe on this rock. We go put that on that rock. Oh, Ninja Master. Put the Ninja Master down there. Alright, let's go some, um... Let's go Asians versus Vikings. And we'll get some Ninja Stars in there. Actually, we might put some over here. Oh, I'm running out of money. Put one over there. There we go. Can we put it over there? Taekwondo Master? There we go. Let's see how we go. Oh, it's got to come down off the hill anyway. I was going to be able to fire. Oh no, it's killed itself. It's got stuck stuck in the snow and it's killed itself. No, I say the headbutters are coming in. Not too fast. We should be able to kill these guys fairly easily. But it's these big guys coming up behind us that we're worried about. Oh, we're still... Okay, the headbutters are dead, but now we've got the big axemen coming in. We've only got a... Oh, I've got the ninja master. I don't think he'd rather take on six of these guys by himself. He's trying his best though. Little ninja star's going off. Oh, here we go. Oh, he been hit. Is that guy dead or has he just fallen down? I've got two of them dead. Three dead. Oh, four dead. Five dead. Last one. Oh, I can't move my camera. Come on. Oh, he's hitting the rock. Is he going? Oh, my. What? Oh, there we go. Finally gets him. Awesome. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. That's some tabs action for you. Really enjoy this game. I hope you enjoy it too. Leave some likes, leave some comments, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.